Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 21 and chapter 3. This is still the problems about vector and its acceleration. It tells us at the initial t equals to 0. Uh, we find the particle is stationary at rest. And the initial location is 0, 0. That is uh, at origin. And then it moves in the xy plane with an acceleration. There we must take care about there. The acceleration to us in two components, i component and j component. Right, so we can consider we have the i and j. At the initial, it is stationary and it is zero. And then we consider the acceleration in two components, i component and j component. We need to determine first the xy component of the velocity and then the speed of the particle, and then the position of the particle. So first one is consider the velocity. We know the velocity is just the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the t, do you agree? But then we need to pay a little bit of attention. The acceleration is in two directions, i direction and j direction. So ax is 4, ay is 3. So there we can write the ax is 4, ay is 3. So then we use the initial velocity plus the acceleration times t. So there we can find the velocity is still two directions, i and j, two components. So we will find vx is 4t and vy is 3t. And then we need to find the, the speed of the particle. So the speed is the magnitude of this velocity. So then we take the 4 square plus 3 square squared and times the t. So this one is 5t. 5t. Now find the position of the particle. The position of the particle, we consider this equation. Right? The final position equals initial position plus the velocity times t and the 1 half a t squared. Then we just need to pay attention all these uh, quantities. Position initial vector and the acceleration is zero. And initial position is zero because it started from zero, x zero, y zero, and then initial velocity is zero from stationary rest. And then we just put a one half a t squared. Look at there. A is uh, a acceleration a is in two component, i component, j component and a half. So it's two t squared and one point five t squared in I, I component and J component. Next one is ask you to find this, uh, this uh, uh, quantities at the time t equal to 2 seconds. So we just input t equal to 2 seconds in these equations and then we get the final answer. Thank you.